Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast. Today is Monday, December 27th, 2021. Today I'm going to recap yesterday's and the rest of the weekend's NFL, college football, NBA, and college basketball games. Look ahead to tonight's games in each sport. News and notes and best bets. So a very short show for this Monday. We'll recap everything for the weekend. We'll start with the NFL, obviously. Um, big weekend. A big game tonight. So let's get right to it. Thursday night, Titans over to 49ers, 20-17. Christmas Day, Packers over to Browns, 24-22. Colts over to Cardinals, 22-16. And then yesterday, Falcons over to Lions, 20-16. Bengals over to Ravens, 41-21. Rams over to Vikings, 30-23. Bills over to Pats, 33-21. Jets over to Jags, 26-21. Eagles over to the Giants, 34-10. Bucks over to Panthers, 32-6. Texans over to Chargers, 41-29. 41-29. Bears over to Seahawks, 25-24. Chiefs over to Steelers, 36-10. Raiders over to Broncos, 17-13. And the Cowboys over Washington, 56-14. All right, one big game tonight. 8-15 on ESPN. The Dolphins and the Saints. Um, Saints have a ton of injuries and COVID issues galore. And um just gonna double check to see if anything has changed in this game. So it looks like Ryan Ramchak is gonna be out for this game for New Orleans, which is a significant loss for them. Um so I should really Mark that one down. And I have the Dolphins projected now as a half point favorite with the total being forty two seventy five. Meanwhile, the Dolphins are favored by three, and the total. For this game is 37. It, that's such a low total. I'm going over. I think the Dolphins could do that potentially by themselves. Um, I don't know the Saints have a good defense and all, but I think that easily goes over and I have a slight edge. And I or not it's not a slight edge, it's a nice edge on the Saints, but um I really like the over a ton in this spot. So the podcast play for tonight is going to be the over in this game. All right, now move on to college bowls. Um a lot of them have been canceled and such due to COVID. But we'll get through what we had and then we'll look ahead to what we have today. So Thursday, Miami of Ohio over North Texas, 27-14 in the Frisco Football Classic. UCF over Florida, 29-17 in the Gasparilla Bowl. Uh, Hawaii Bowl got canceled. Christmas Day, Georgia State over Ball State, 51-20 in the Camellia Bowl. And now, today at 11 o'clock on ESPN in the Quick Lane Bowl, I have Western Michigan, Nevada, no Carson Strong from Nevada. My projection here is... Western Michigan by two and a half, total 60.6. Meanwhile, FanDuel has this at Western Michigan by six and a half, total 56 and a half. Um, so the bigger edge lies on the over. I think that neither of these teams play much defense. And it's funny because... I really haven't had edges on overs in bowl games in the past couple of years. Now, this year, finally, that's the case. So, I do same game parlay, Nevada, and the points, and the over. But the main play for today's show will be the over. The military bowl is supposed to be today between Boston College and East Carolina, but that was canceled due to some COVID issues with the East Carolina's program. That's unfortunate. All right, now we look back on the NBA games 
from the holiday weekend, and we will look ahead to a very busy game slate for tonight. Thursday, Pacers over to Rockets, 118-106. Pelicans over to Magic, 110-104. Hawks over to 76ers, 98-96. Heat over to Pistons, 115-112. Wizards over to Knicks, 124-117. Bucks over to Mavs, 102-95. Hornets over to Nuggets, 115-107. Suns over to Thunder, 113-101. Jazz over to Timberwolves, 128-116. Warriors over to the Grizzlies, 113-110. Spurs over to Lakers, 138-110. Nets, Trailblazers postponed. Christmas Day, Knicks over to Hawks, 101-87. Bucks over to Celtics, 117-113. Warriors over to Suns, 116-107. Nets over to Lakers, 122-115. Jazz over to Mavericks, 120-116. And then Sunday, Heat over to Magic, 93-83. Cavs over to Raptors, 144-99. Wow. 76ers over to Wizards, 117-96. Grizzlies over to Kings, 127-102. Thunder over to Pelicans, 117-112. Spurs over to Pistons, 144-109. 144-109. That's another wow. Bulls over to Pacers, 113-105. And the Nuggets over to Clippers, 103-100. All right, seven games for tonight. None of them postponed yet, so that's good. Um, 7 o'clock, you have the Rockets and the Hornets. My projections for this game, or I should say projection, I didn't do totals today. Rockets, 12 and a half. It's because a lot of players are out due to COVID protocol, so it's tough to evaluate the totals. So, now it's 6.5 and, and 2.35. Um, let's see here. Um, I'm going to actually lay the points with Charlotte. That's very low. Bulls-Hawks, my projection is Bulls by 6, and it's Hawks by 5.5 total, 207.5. Um, I will go with the under in that game. Celtics-Timberwolves, my projection is... Boston by eight and three quarters, and it is Celtics by eight. Total two seventeen and a half. I like the under in that game. Next up is the Jazz and the Spurs at eight thirty. By the way, uh, Bulls Hawks seven thirty NBA TV, and then Celtics Wolves at eight eight thirty Jazz Spurs from San Antonio. Um, I project the Spurs by 16 and a quarter. Or, I'm sorry, the Jazz by 16 and a quarter. Oh, wait a second. I completely did this line wrong because I thought the Jazz were home. That's my mistake. I apologize. So, it's actually Jazz by 10 and a quarter. That was a complete screw up on my end. But it's Jazz by 6.5 total, 229. I'm going to take the lay the points with the Jazz. Next up, the Grizzlies and the Suns at 9 o'clock. My projection is Phoenix by 15 and a quarter. And it is 8.5 total, 220. I'm going to lay the points with the Suns. 10 o'clock, the Mavericks and the Trailblazers. My projection is Blazers by 1.5. And, and it's Portland by 1 with all these injuries. Total, 212.5. Um, I'm going to go with the under, no Luka Doncic, no CJ McCollum. And then the last game, 10.30 on NBA TV, the Nets and the Clippers. My projection is Brooklyn by five and three quarters with all these injuries and COVID issues. And I and it is Brooklyn by three and a half, total 216 and a half. I'm going to lay the points with Brooklyn, and I think James Harden can will them to a victory on the road tonight. All right, now we'll look back on the college basketball games from the last couple of games and look ahead to a short window for today. So we'll begin with Thursday. Milwaukee over St. Xavier, 74-52. Wagner over Fairfield, 63-50. Stanford over Liberty, 79-76. Pepperdine over Westmont. 96-69. Fresno over Weber State, 69-43. Wyoming over Northern Iowa, or Iowa, 71-69 in Diamond Head Classic. Vandy over BYU, 69-67. South Florida over Hawaii, 76-69. Also Diamond Head Classic. 
St. Francis, Brooklyn, UMass, Lyle, canceled. Ha- ha- Howard, Yale, canceled. I've said Harvard, Yale. Butler, St. John's, postponed. George Mason, number 24, Wisconsin, canceled. Alabama, a and Georgia Tech, number 18, or 15, C&L, DePaul, and Central Con, Rutgers, all postponed. So they got rid of forfeits. That's good job by the, um, uh, Uh, the uh, Big East by getting rid of forfeits because I don't think that's really fair. So good on them for changing that rule. Um, they didn't have any games Christmas Eve. Christmas Day only two games in the Diamond Head Classic. His Northern Iowa, Hawaii, and Stanford Vandy canceled. Wyoming, South Florida, 77-57, and BYU over Liberty, 80-75. That was the championship. So at least that one wasn't canceled. More importantly, and now I look at the two games for tonight, and one of them actually um, is just um, not relevant, but the other one is sort of relevant if you want to bet on it. Brown Syracuse. My projection is Syracuse 12 and a half. I do a total here, and Syracuse is favored by nine and a half. Total is 143 and a half. I'm going to lay the nine and a half with Syracuse tonight against Brown. And the other game at 8 o'clock, Dallas Christian, Texas A&M. Uh, you don't have to talk about that game. And then Penn State, Wilkes-Barre, Morgan State has been postponed. Now I'm going to do news and notes for today. Um, we're going to start with the NHL on this one. Um, they were supposed to come back today, but they pushed it until tomorrow. Um which is going to be a pretty nice slate of games, even though they already postponed three games and also have a new plan. Um, The new plan is that they are going to reintroduce taxi squads and make temporary changes to the CBA for COVID reasons. Um, There are three games that were already postponed. Um... One tomorrow and a couple on Wednesday. Um, so the one that was postponed to, for tomorrow is Blue Jackets, Blackhawks. And Wednesday's two postponed games, Penguins, Maple Leafs, and Bruins, Senators. So um, I don't know who is in the COVID outbreaks, but I remember Boston had some cases before the pause but yeah those are the three that have been postponed so far as the league will resume play tomorrow um Miami's out of the Sun Bowl due to COVID-19 protocol so I wonder if that game's going to get postponed or canceled and if somebody new will replace them or whatnot like Rutgers is replacing Texas A&M in the Gator Bowl to play Wake Forest. So we'll see about that. Um, Donovan Mitchell out two games due to a lower back strain. So he's not in COVID protocol. It's just a lower back strain. Jimmy Butler came back against the Magic after missing his last eight games due to a tailbone injury. That's, that was nice to see. Sam Darnold might take Cam Newton's job And could take over the starting job to finish the season. So, um, what a dysfunctional situation in Carolina. What a bad trade. We're going to talk more about that tomorrow when we do the power rankings. Um, The Saints reached out to retired quarterbacks Drew Brees and Phillip Rivers. And they signed Blake Bortles. To back up Ian Book tonight against the Dolphins. So that's really crazy that Ian Book is starting for New Orleans tonight. The former Notre Dame star. And Tyler Huntley went on COVID protocol on Christmas night. And Josh Jackson started for the Ravens. But it didn't matter. They got their asses kicked. And they would have lost that game regardless. Because the Ravens defense did not show up for that game. Did not. And everyone's going to say, well, well, if Lamar or Tyler Huntley played, they would have won. No. 
the Ravens' defense did not show up. Maybe they score more points with those guys, but they're not beating Joe Burrow. You're not outscoring Joe Burrow. I'm sorry, especially if he puts up 41. The Bears may reshuffle everything as Matt Nagy, Ryan Pace, and team president Ted Phillips' jobs are insecure after a disappointing season. Good. They made the bad trade, what I thought was a bad trade or an overreaction trade, up for Justin Fields, and they lose a probable top five draft pick as the Giants, who are equally dysfunctional, even more dysfunctional, have two first-round picks. And it's just awful, and they deserve to lose their jobs. I mean, I'm not the person that um, really roots for firings and such, but that trade, the Trubisky trade, several years ago, and the Khalil Mack trade were all failures on their part. And they really um, are going to cost them their jobs here. NBA close to an in-season tournament. An in-season tournament could happen as soon as next year and would include December pool play, a million dollars per player payout. So that would be pretty cool to see if they had to do an in-season tournament. That's just something that would make the regular season of the NBA super relevant. And WNBA teams are pursuing Becky Hammond to fill their head coaching vacancies in the Aces and the Liberty. So if the Liberty were to hire Becky Hammond, I think that'd be a fantastic hire for them. And same for the Aces. So um, we'll see what happens here. I didn't even know um the uh, Las Vegas Aces had a coaching opening as a uh, Bill Lambeer. I had no idea that um Bill Lambeer isn't there anymore. Which is crazy. I thought he did a great job there. So I guess he... He left? Because he's a good coach. But that's... That's crazy. I didn't even know that he... uh, he, Um... He left or got fired or whatever. That's just unfortunate. But we'll see who uh, Las Vegas hires to be their next head coach. All right, last but not least, my best bet of the day. Brought to you by FanDuel. Um, I'm going to go to the NBA. And I'm going to lay points. With the Utah Jazz against the Spurs. Um, no DeJounte Murray. But no Donovan Mitchell either. I understand that. But they're just better than the Spurs. So. I'm going to do a half. Not even a half unit. But yeah. Not your normal half unit. Because it's a. Uh, um. At minus 106. So half unit on the Jazz tonight against the San Antonio Spurs. All right, so there you have it for today's show. I'll be back tomorrow with a much larger show, recapping everything from tonight, looking ahead to tomorrow, including the return of the NHL. Um, NFL power rankings will be tomorrow. Um, At some point this week, I'm going to talk about the iHeartRadio Top 50 songs of 2021. It's affiliated with like Z100 and stations like that. And... News and notes and best bet for tomorrow as well. Hope you guys have a great day, everyone.